Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Dockerizing the Simple Java Program. We will create a simple Java program, maybe Hello World, and we are going to Dockerize that Java program, and we will create the Docker image, and we are going to run that image inside the Docker container. Let's begin. If you are watching this video, I believe that you already know about Docker, what is Docker, and what is the purpose of using Docker. In case if you are very new to Docker, if you never heard about Docker before, then I suggest you to skip this video, go ahead and read few lines about Docker and then come back to this video and watch the, and continue watching it. In this video, I will only show you how you can Dockerize the simple Java program. We will learn few Docker commands, the basic commands that you will use every day in your development. Let's begin. In order to use the Docker, first you need to install the Docker on your system. I have already downloaded and installed on my system. In case if you want to install it, you just need to go to the website, which is docker.com, which is the official website and click on this get started. And you need to download this Docker desktop. It is available for all the operating system, Mac, Windows and Linux. Depending upon your operating system, download the Docker desktop and install it on your own. The installation is pretty straightforward. Once you installed it, you can verify it by running a command. Open the command prompt and you need to execute the command docker minus v. This will display the docker version which you have installed on your system. You might have installed the older version. That's completely fine. As long as if you see the docker version, then you are good to go. Once you have installed the Docker on your system, you need to start it. You just need to start the Docker. And you can see the Docker is about to starting. This will, this will take a couple of seconds to start the Docker. Once the Docker is started, you will see the dialog box, the Docker dashboard. You can see this is the Docker dashboard, but we are not going to use it. Let's close this. But if you see the Docker desktop is running on your system. Now you can run the Docker commands. Okay. Now let's open a visual studio code. I have created a folder on the desktop Docker tutorials inside this. Let's create a Java file. I'm going to call this main.java inside this. Let's write a simple hello world Java program, public class main. public static wide main and let's pass the arguments the string arguments and inside this let's print a message to the console using println hello world so let's save this so in order to run this Java program, all we need to do is we need to first compile this and then we need to run the Java file. So let's do that as well. Java C main dot Java. This will create the dot class file. You can see now in order to run this Java main and you can see hello world. Okay. So now we have created this Java file. Now we need to dockerize this Java program. So let's do that. I'm going to delete this dot class file. Delete this. In order to dockerize this, we need to create a Docker file. So inside the root of this project, we're going to create a file. The file name is Docker file. This file name does not have any extension, but it should start with the capital D. So inside this Docker file, we are going to provide instructions to the Docker that how you can run this Java program. So it starts with from. So this from instruction takes one parameter. We need to specify the base image. We have created this Java program using the Java code. And in order to run this Java program, we need JDK. So we need to tell Docker use a base image, which is JDK to run this Java file or the Java program. So the base image name is open JDK colon. You need to specify the JDK version, which is eight. I'm going to use eight. 
if you want to use the higher version you can specify the uh, version number as well i'm going to stick to java 8 so this from instruction we are telling docker to use one of the base image which is open jdk to run this java program that is what the from command is or the instruction is next we need to set the working directory working directory we need to specify the base directory i'm going to provide the base directory name as slash app you can give any name you want i'm going to keep it simple slash app so now this is our base directory next we need to use the copy instruction we need to tell copy all the files to this base directory so this copy instruction takes two parameters the first parameter is the source uh, path and the second parameter is the destination path so we need to copy all the files from the current directory so we need to specify the dot so this will copy all the files from the current directory and we're going to add it to the base directory which is slash app slash okay we're going to add it to the base directory next once we copied all the files we need to compile the java file for that we're going to use the run command run instruction so to this run instruction we will provide the instruction which is java c in order to compile this java c main dot java using this run instruction we are compiling the file which is main dot java once it is done next we need to run the java file for that we are going to use the entry point entry point and this will take array and we need to specify the java command to run the java file which is java as a first parameter and the second parameter we need to pass the class name which is main let's save this that's it so now we have created this docker file we start with the from instruction we are telling docker to use the base image which is open jdk in order to run this java file so every software company they have created their product as a docker image and they have pushed it to the docker hub docker hub is simply like a github repository so you will get all the softwares as a docker images so if you want to use any one of the product you just need to pull it from the docker hub and you need to use it that is what we are exactly doing here we are pulling the docker image for the open jdk from the docker hub and we are using it that is what the from instruction will do so if you want to see where it is available you can go to the browser and search for docker hub you need to create a account inside this docker hub in order to use this if you, if you can click on this explore you will see all the images that are available inside this docker hub you can search for open jdk and you can see we have the open jdk and if you go inside this tags we have a uh, so many versions of it and if you want to use any one of this you just need to copy this docker pull and you can use it on your own so but inside this docker file we are using the open jdk as a base image because in order to run this java file we need the jdk so for that we are using this as a base image open jdk 8 and we are setting the working directory we are setting the base directory which is slash app you can give any name you want to this directory and we are copying all the files from the current directory to the base directory which is slash app and we are we need to compile the java file we are the, for that we are using the run instruction and we are providing the command and at last we are setting the entry point to our application using the array inside the array we will pass the instruction with a comma separated java and main that's it so now our docker file is ready we need to build this we need to build the docker image so for that we are going to use one of the docker command which is docker build the docker build is used to build the docker image this will take a few parameters the first parameter is minus t which is the tag name we need to provide the tag name docker build minus t and you need to provide the tag name i'm going to call this scbution05 slash docker minus 
hello world and you need to specify the tag if you want if you don't specify the tag name it will by default it will take it as a latest if you want to specify the tag name colon v1.0 that you need to specify i'm not going to specify the version name a uh, tag name as of now and last you need to specify where it has to build i'm going to build it inside the current directory you need to specify the path as well which is dot this is going to build the image inside the current directory and once you have done this just click on this enter this is going to start building the docker image so this will take a few minutes to build the docker image depending upon your internet speed in my case it ran pretty quickly because previously i have used this image open jdk to run some other java projects that is why it was there in the cache it has used from the cache as well that's why in my case it ran pretty pretty quickly but in your case it may take a few minutes depending upon your internet speed once it is executed this command once it is downloaded all these images once it is done you need to verify the you need to check the docker images the created docker images by running the command docker images hit enter you can see we have the list of images which are present in my in, a, in my system if you are running this for the very first time then you, you will see only one image which is just now you have created i have a few other images as well so right now we have this image sc bhushan 05 slash docker minus hello world and you can see the tag name which is latest and the image id created and size don't worry about this created time because i have used this open jdk a few hours back that is why it is showing nine hours ago okay so now we have created this image now we need to run this image on a container we need to start the docker container in order to start the container we need to use the docker run command docker run you need to specify the image name or you can specify the image id i'm going to specify the image name sc bhushan 05 slash docker minus hello world docker minus hello world and hit enter you can see the message hello world so when we run this docker container the docker container has executed this file and it is stopped because inside this in order to run this java file we are not starting any server if would have started any server then the container should be keep on running but now the con container is started and it stopped as soon as it is executed this file so if you want to check you can check the command which is docker ps this command will display all the running containers if you can execute this you can see there are no containers are running but if you see docker ps minus a this is going to display all the stopped containers as well hit enter you can see the container which is sc bhushan 05 slash docker hello world this has been created 43 seconds ago and it has been executed a 43 43 seconds ago so the container is started as soon as it execute the file it has been stopped so the docker ps minus a it will display all the containers the running containers as well as the stopped containers as well and the docker ps it will only display the running containers okay so now we have created the docker image and we have learned how we can start the container to run the image now you can give this image to any any one of your friends they can if they have installed the docker in their system they can use this image to start the container they don't have to install jdk in order to run this that is the advantage of using the docker so they can just if they have installed docker they just run the image using the container and application will be start running that is the advantage of using the docker so now we have seen how to run the docker how to build the image and how to run the docker container so in case if you want to remove the container you just need to specify docker rm which is for short for remove and you need to specify the container id to remove the remove from the container you just need to specify the container id which is 610 you don't have to specify the complete container id the first three characters is enough hit enter you can see it has been removed from the container now if you see docker ps minus a there are no containers even the stopped containers is not available but our image is still present docker images you can see we have this image if you want to remove the image from the docker and execute the command docker 
image rm which is for sh short for remove and you need to specify the image id or the image name i'm going to specify the image id 785 785 hit enter you can see untagged and it has been deleted you can verify that docker images now we do not have that image that we have created earlier okay that's it for this video in this video we have learned how to dockerize the java program and we have run the image inside the docker container and also we have looked at some of the basic docker commands that's it for this video in the next video we are going to create a spring boot application and we will learn how to dockerize the spring boot application that's it for this video i will see you in the next video